Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a little bit on how to paint and draw in Photoshop. Okay, so hopefully you've got your tablet and you've got your pen. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you also have Photoshop. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we're going to grab an image. We'll go ahead and go File New and we want 200 or 300. I think I'm going to go for 200 today and I'm going to go by Eight, let's do a sheet of paper. So let's do eight and a half tall by 11 inches wide. So it's kind of like a sideways sheet of paper. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to drag in some reference art to draw and sketch from uh, the internet. So I'll grab Safari and I'm just going to use this little Naruto image. Okay. And now I'm just going to select this whole thing and then go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, it looks like I'm in the wrong mode. So if everything's black and white, then make sure you go to image, mode, RGB color. And you don't want to flatten it. Okay? And I'm going to try that one more time. Edit, paste. There we go, now it's in color. So I'm going to delete that black and white one. I'm going to rename this reference. I'm going to press the move button. Move that up here. Actually, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, make sure. Okay. So I move that over here. And I can make that a little bigger. So I'm going to go to edit, free transform. I'm going to hold down the shift key so that it keeps its proportions. I'm going to press enter to get out of transform mode. Okay, and now I'm going to make a new layer. This is going to be the one that I sketch on. So sketch. And now I need to grab my brushes. I can press the B key on the keyboard or I can come over here and click on brushes. I want to check my settings. Okay, at first you definitely want 100% of everything. And this button's good because this gives you uh, pressure sensitivity. Okay, if I turn it off, you can see it's, it does, there's no thick and thin. Okay, so if I turn it back on, I can get thick or I can get thin. Okay, so let's go ahead and start painting. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch with uh, the brush tool on the sketch layer. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this smaller. You have a button on your pen, if you press that button, you should get some, a shortcut to your, some of your settings, or you can just come up here and click on this. So I want to turn this down, and I want to turn the flow down to 15%, so this is more like a pencil. And basically what flow does is now when I go back and forth, it gets darker as I keep going. Okay, so it starts out light, but then it gets darker and darker and darker and darker and darker, okay? Now, if you draw and you don't like your stroke, and that happens quite often when you're drawing and painting in Photoshop, because this tablet's not the easiest thing to use, what we want is our history. See this guy right here? And if you don't see that there, you can go to uh, Window, and then make sure there's a check mark next to History. Okay? And then what this does is I can go back in time. Okay? So if I click on the very top one, that's when I first opened it. And if I go to the very bottom, that's where I am now. Okay, so I don't want that stroke and I don't want that one, but I do want that. Okay, so I'm going to start here and now I can get rid of that and I can start painting and drawing. So make sure on the right layer, okay, I'm actually going to lock, right, this is the lock tool. I'm going to lock my reference layer so that I cannot accidentally draw on the picture. I've got my sketch, I'm going to put this underneath reference and now I can sketch, okay. Again, if you don't feel like going up here to use this, you can always do control, you can do command, alt, z. So hold down the command key, also hold down the alt key, and then press the z button, the z key on your keyboard. Okay. Also, I want to be able to zoom in. So to zoom in, I'm going to hold down, I'm going to use two fingers on the keyboard. So typically I draw with my right hand. Oh, let me go back to photo booth. So I draw with this hand, and then I'm going to keep my fingers on these two keys. Okay, this is the space bar and the command key. Okay, so command space bar 
and that makes this into a zoom. See that? And then if I zoom in really close, and I let go, and I only press the, if I hold down the space bar, then I can move it around. Okay. So for instance, I can draw a little bit. Then let's say I want to go into more detail. I can zoom in, and I can hold down the space bar to move it around. I can do Command space bar to zoom out. Okay. If I drag to the right, it zooms in. If I drag to the left, it zooms out. Okay. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to select my drawing and just delete it. And to delete it, to delete it, I press the delete key on the keyboard. Okay. I'm going to press the, the B key to go back to the brush. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm also going to go to view, screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar, just so that I use the whole screen and so that I can kind of click and drag this thing around. Okay, so I got face. This is headband. And his ear. And then I got his eyebrows. His eye line. His little bitty baby Japanese nose and then I think this actually comes up a little higher and then it overlaps a little bit with his mouth okay and then I'm going to draw out the rest of his eyes Oops. so I just hit command alt Z to undo that stroke and then the other eye And of course, the pupil, which is like huge on this guy. Bright blue and white eyed Naruto. Okay, so I've got my basic sketch down. The only thing I'm missing is basically the hair and some of this other stuff, but for the sake of speed, we're just going to move on. Okay, I'd also like to draw his hand, but I don't have time. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to color. Okay, so since, since we drew our sketch on its own layer, it's actually by itself there. Do you see it? Okay, so what I can do is I can make a new layer, put that one underneath my sketch, and I want to call this color. Okay, so now I'm going to make my brush bigger, and I'm also going to turn up the flow, and I'm going to use the Alt key, so this, if I hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, I can cherry pick the colors. Okay, so I can choose the yellow of his hair. I can choose the color of his skin. And as you can see, because this layer is underneath the sketch layer, my color goes underneath the sketch. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, is that the right color? Yes. Okay, and you can kind of block, you know, just paint real big, you can block it in real quick. And since your pen is pressure sensitive, if you press lightly, the brush will be small. If you press heavy, it'll be big. I like to work rough. I don't like to. I, I do try to stay inside the lines a little bit, but I don't worry about it too much because I can always clean it up later. Speed is more important than accuracy, as far as I'm concerned, because gotta get it done. Okay. Now, if by mistake you draw on the background layer. So let's say, for instance, um, let's get rid of this. Let's say that these layer, these two layers accidentally become one. Or let's say you drew on the background layer. I'm going to merge down. So as you can see, when I try to put this, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Whenever I put this above my color, it covers it up because that white, the white part of this layer is covering up the colored part of this layer. Okay, and when you scan in your drawing, if you scan in a drawing, it's going to come in like this. It's not going to come in with the drawings on a layer by itself, right? So the easy way to fix this is you just go to, see this right here, layers. This is the blending mode. Change normal blending mode to multiply. And that makes everything that is white in this layer disappear, okay? So it's a very easy fix. You just change your sketch layer to multiply.
Okay, so that'll help you guys to draw and paint. And the last thing I do want to share is the rotate tool because it is a little hard to draw with a tablet because it's hard to get the angle that you want. So if, if for instance, you need to draw, let's go back to my sketch layer. Let's say I want to draw a straight horizontal line, right? Which is quite difficult to do with a tablet, right? It's just really hard because you, your line ends up coming up like this, right? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to rotate. So I hold down the R key and that allows me to turn my image. And then with the space bar I can kind of get it in the right spot and now I can just do it straight up and down. And now with the R key again I can put it back. And if you want it to get it back perfectly, hold down Shift and R, and then it'll perfectly follow along in increments. It'll incrementally turn it, okay? Spacebar, brush tool, okay? So now I've got that perfectly horizontal line, or at least close, more, much more close to perfect. Okay, so that's how you draw and paint in Photoshop. Um, let me think, is there anything else? I guess the only other thing I would say is... Uh, if you get different brushes, you can save them. Okay, so you just go to Tool Presets or Window, Tool Presets, and then you can make new and you can name that brush. So, for instance, I'll call this my Sketch Brush, and then I'll come back to my color layer. I'll make my brush big, turn up my flow, grab a color. Actually, let's grab the uh, skin color. Okay, now I can go New. We'll call this the paint brush or color. Let's do this for, let's call it color. So now when I want to sketch, I just click here, I can sketch. And then when I go on color, I go back to color and I can do color. Okay, so you can go ahead and save your tool presets. That way you can switch back and forth really easily without having to change all of your settings. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks, guys.